Okay, in this video, I'm going to do the jelly beans question. So, um, we assume a box contains four red jelly beans and two green. We consider the event that a red bean is drawn, and we'll do this first question here. Suppose I pick a jelly bean from the box without looking. I record the color and put the bean back in the box. Then I choose the bean again. Are the two events independent? I would say yes because um, because you put the bean back in again. Let me just um, uh, red, red, red. Let me find something red. Oh, just one sec here. Red, 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 red. Um, let's see. We've got four. One, two, three, four, and two green. Okay. There's two green. Okay, so pretend these are jelly beans. Uh, four red, two green. So um, we we picked one randomly, but we put it back in the box. Okay, so now the second event doesn't depend on the first one. It'd be different if you took something out and then you didn't replace it and then took another one because then the probability is different. So if you replace it again, place it for the second pick, then they're independent. Then the picks are independent, right? Right. So in other words, if I picked one at random and I picked out a green one, now look, there's only one green left in the in the um, box, right? And so you're less likely to get a green. You're more likely to get a red. So now the second event of picking is affected by the first event. However, if I had picked a green on the first pick, but then returned it. Ah, now the second second pick doesn't does it is not affected by the first because we returned it, so they're the same amount, right? So they're independent. Yes. Um, what is the probability of getting a red bean both times? Remember, we put the bean back in the box. So again, at the first time, is uh, you've four chances out of six, right? Uh, so four out of six for the first time, but we want to get the second time as well. So um, let's see, we have four. So we, we replace, remember we replace it. So now it's just another four over six, isn't it? Four over six times four over six. Now, of course you can simplify that. Um, let's see, two into that goes twice, two into that goes three times, two into that goes twice, two into that goes three times. And now we have 2 times 2 is 4 over 3 times 3 is 9 is the answer. 4 over 9 for that first question, right? That's the probability of getting a red bean both times, or red coin in our case, or chip. Okay, um, next question. Um, suppose I pick a jelly bean from the same box without looking, but this time I do not put the bean in back in the box. Then I choose the bean again. Are the two events independent? This time, no. And just as we talked about. So you're starting off with one, two, uh, three, four, five, six be uh, jelly beans in the in the box, or I have chips, um, and they're all mixed up. You know, you're not looking. You're choosing one at random. Now, let's say once again I chose, for example, a let's say I chose a red one. Now there are two greens and three reds left in there. If you don't replace that red one, if, if that one stays out, and you ch ch you pick again, now you're more likely. Uh, now the chances of a green is two out of five. The chances of a red is two is three out of five. So the first event of picking has now affected the probability of the next event, and so they're not independent. Okay, because the first event of picking has changed the probability of the second event. Okay. So the second events uh, probability is altered or changed by the first event. So that means they're not independent events. Okay, so now let's answer the question. What's the probability of getting two red this time? So we start out with four red beans and two green. 
for the first one to be red that's one that's four chances out of six okay now we gotta choose again what's so we, we pick one out now what's the chance of the next one being red also you've got three chances out of five because there's only three left out of five we did not replace it this time right so it's four over six times three out of five can we cross cancel yep three and three goes once three and six goes twice this time the answer is four times one four over two times uh five ten um two times five i should have cross cancelled again two and two goes once two and that goes twice the answer should work out to be two over five right